The organizers behind the Make It Legal Recreational Marijuana Amendment are closing in on 100,000 valid signatures, adding they will have enough to qualify for the 2020 election in a few weeks. As Mike Vazilinda found out, it's already promising to be a pretty heated campaign. Employees waved. A ribbon was cut as MedMen opened its first medical marijuana dispensary in the state capitol. A few patients came and went, but MedMen is banking on voters approving the recreational marijuana amendment the company is bankrolling. As the supermajority of Floridians are truly wanting this, and, and survey after survey is saying that. So far, MedMen and another license holder, Satura, have already dropped a million dollars each into the petition process. And they're already planning ahead for an expensive campaign. You no, know, you're starting at, a, at multiples of millions, and it could be, you know, ten times that when you're done. But it really depends on where's it polling and who's the opposition. Barney Bishop's on the other side. He says MedMen is right. It's going to be an expensive and hard-fought election. No question that law enforcement and other conservative opponents are going to spend a lot of money to try to keep this ballot initiative from winning. Ten million a reasonable expectation? Certainly. Absolutely. Some state House members are already arming themselves with information to fight the amendment. The alarm bells are beginning to come in with marijuana. And we hope people are listening. And they're being honest about their motives. You don't necessarily think it's a good idea. Recreational? Right. No, I do not. Florida's already expected to be a battleground state for the presidency next year, and likely for legal marijuana as well. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, Channel 4, the local station. The deadline for certifying the petitions is February the 1st, and more than 766,000 are needed to get on the ballot.